Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the farmhouse. Welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. I have one goal today, and that is to preserve all of these tomatoes. So let's get started. Hey. Learning to can and preserve your harvest from your garden is a great skill that you can learn and practice even when you're not on your future homestead or your forever homestead. Use your waiting room as a classroom and learn all of those skills so that when you are on your forever homestead, you can hit the ground running and take on newer and bigger projects. If you wanna know what makes a successful homestead and join our free homesteading boot camp, make sure you check out the link, link below. It is chock full of great resources for you to start your homestead and make it successful. We are gonna start by cutting up these tomatoes, getting rid of the stem and the core, and throwing them in our stock pot. We mostly grow paste tomatoes. Um, I'll link below like which ones we grow, but this is because we mainly use our tomatoes for sauces and paste. We don't really use a lot of tomatoes just like on a sandwich or just eat them. So we grow canning tomatoes, which oftentimes is like aroma, like this one, or it's some of those bigger ones and they just have a lot more meat to them and not as much like juice. These don't have to be cut down like small, small, just cut down enough so that they cook. I'm also gonna cut out any bad spots as I'm going. We did do some beefsteak tomatoes and I'm gonna add those in as well. I wanted to see how this worked before I like started talking to you guys about it. So, so far so good. Um, I think might need a taller catch bucket and finding a low bucket for the bottom is hard, but so far so good, I really like it. I think it's gonna be definitely an arm workout. Um, but this is the Sauce Master. Um, I saw this on the Holler Homestead, I guess it was last year or the year before, and we decided we wanted to try it out. So far, so good. Definitely an arm workout, but I'm gonna work on the rest of these tomatoes and then get this sauce going. I should mention, so what this does is this removes all of the skin and the seeds from the tomatoes. And it says to um, 
dice the tomatoes before you putting in here. I'm kind of finding that if they are smashed, it works a little better. But learning process, we'll get there. this machine once I got using it it went really quick I do feel like if the tomatoes are a little bit smashed when they go in the hopper the it kind of goes faster so just something to think about um, and just keep an eye on like the discharge because it does fill up quickly but I'm pretty happy with his much like the quality and the quantity that I've gotten out like I don't feel like I'm wasting a lot um, I did everything in that big pot. I am going to do a run outside and collect anything off the vines that looks ready to go. We are getting ready to go away, so I want to get as much of this done before we leave so I don't have to worry about it. So, but overall, very happy. Going to run outside and see if there are any more tomatoes out there that are ready to go. Here is what I got tomato sauce wise the size of the pot. I'm not sure what size stock pot this is, but I'm going to now go put this on our outside canning stove and get it heated up. I'm also going to fill my water bath canner with some quart jars and water and get that going as well. I'm just doing sauce, not doing any flavoring or anything with this. This is just going to be tomato sauce that I will flavor when I use it in spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce or anything else we need tomato sauce for. So this is just going to be strictly tomatoes. My sauce is heating, my jars are heating, and this is our outside canning station. It is a Camp Chef. Um, three burner. We absolutely love it because it's big enough for these big pots. And we can also fit the pressure canner on here. Not that I would do all three at the same time, but it's big enough and we have some space. And then I have a table set up next to it. I have my lids, my funnel, my tongs, my measure, some extra jars and some rags. And I'm going to go throw my lids and my rings in some hot water while I wait for these two things to come to a boil. Here is what I have left over. This is the skin and the seeds that came out of all the tomatoes that I did. With this, you have a couple options. Um, throw it in compost, perfect. If you have chickens, feed it to your chickens. I have also seen people take this, dehydrate it and make it a powder. And then you have tomato powder that you can add to really anything, any soups, um, if you need to thicken something, tomato powder, it has great flavor. Um, I'm not gonna do that with this batch. I will probably do that with the next batch just because I know I'm gonna have a whole nother batch of tomatoes and I don't need that much tomato powder. But that is a couple of options on what you can do with your scraps. Remember, nothing goes to waste. And like I said before, if you want our free five-day homesteading boot camp to get you started and our free ebook on what makes a successful homestead, make sure you check out the link below. Great place to start if you are looking to get into homesteading. Sauce is simmered down. I did make a huge mess. I did clean the floor though. Um, but I let this simmer for about uh, 40 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna turn the canner back on and get these boiling and then ladle everything in.
the canner for five to 10 minutes just to get them a little more sterilized than me cleaning them in the sink. I am gonna fill all of the jars within about a half inch headspace. Um, definitely recommend using a funnel for this. It makes the job so much easier. Once that is done, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of citric acid. Oh, I'm gonna wipe them down first. Then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of citric acid to each of the jars um, this is to help with the preserving process. You can also use a lemon juice if you want the conversion lemon juice and all that. Head on over to our website. I have it all linked there for you. But I have citric acid, so that is what I'm going to use today. And then I'm going to add all of my lids. They have been sitting in hot water. Um, and then I'm going to add my bands and I'm going to hand tighten them on each of the jars. lids and the bands on then I'm going to put them all in my water bath canner I'm gonna let this come back up to a boil and then let it process for 40 minutes now if the water hadn't have come over top of the lids um, one to two inches I would have had to add more water on top of this but the water is well over the lids so that is fine I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it go. 40 minutes are up. I turned the stove off and I let it sit for another five minutes. Now I'm gonna take these inside and put them on our hutch where they're gonna sit for 24 hours. 24 hours are up and four of the five sealed. So I put the fifth one in our refrigerator. We'll use that one probably this week for pizza. But I took the bands off and then these are going to go downstairs in storage after I label them. We take the bands off so that we know if these seals do crack or like if they come off or they become unsealed. We know if you leave the bands on them, they could reseal and then it's opening and closing and it could let in bad bacteria and all that other fun, not so fun stuff. So Canning tomatoes, super easy, a great skill to start with when you're starting to learn how to preserve your food. Check out the link below to see our homesteading boot camp. It is free. It talks about canning and gives you some tips and tricks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse and we will talk to you soon.